Lord Bison, can you hear me? Yes, state your business. Our target is a dangerous individual. We can't let him get into Street Fighter. Do not fail me. Terry, he already made it into Smash. He made it into Fighting EX Slayer. He even grew boobs and got into the waifu's game. Hmm, interesting. I, uh, I don't know if I can stop him. You're a worthless piece of trash. Contain your rage and follow my orders. <sighs> I should have never dropped you, Manon. I'm sorry. Yesterday was the EVO Finals day for Street Fighter 6. It was an amazing grand finals, amazing tournament in general, and during that Capcom did actually put out the teaser trailer for Terry Bogard. He is the second DLC character, the second uh, season 2 boss character, and he is the first ever guest character in a mainline Street Fighter game, which is a pretty prestigious position. Now this was only a teaser trailer, a cinematic from the World League Tour mode, pretty much in line with what they did with all of the other DLC characters which is a bit disappointing because we knew we pretty much expected this we had some hopes that maybe they're gonna put out like a gameplay trailer but he seems like he's still way off right uh, but we still got to see some snippets here and there he looked uh it was interesting seeing him in Zari engine we also got to see what seems like maybe a new stage, uh, it seems like the bars that they always fight in, in the King of Fighter games. We got to see some characters wearing uh, King of Fighters inspired costumes, the Not Joe and the Not Blue Mary, and they're probably gonna be all the two items for the avatar, I mean who cares, but anyways. Uh, we also got to see him doing Bar Knuckle, and that was uh, pretty fire right now. There is a lot of talks about Terry's model, especially his face. Uh, a lot of people are saying they made Terry ugly. Oh my god, they made him ugly. And um, I don't know what to say about that, to be honest. I, I don't. I do think the model probably need a little bit of work, but I have faith in Capcom. Uh, they made Ed look amazing. They made Aki look amazing. Bison. All DLC characters honestly look really, really cool. And it's still kind of early. Uh, I hope that maybe they would have given us like a gameplay trailer. But it wasn't, it was just a teaser and uh, I, 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 think, I think he needs some work but they will get him to be in a pretty good spot. Now Terry is a little bit of a controversial character because a lot of people wanted some of the returning old school Street Fighter characters. Maybe you wanted Cody, Poison like me or maybe you wanted Sagat, others, who knows. But uh, he's interesting. And the thing about Terry that makes him so interesting to me is the fact that we don't know how Capcom will tackle this. Like what angle are they taking? Are they gonna take Terry and make him a Street Fighter 6 character? Because Terry have a very defined moveset, right? He got the power wave, that is the fireball. He got the burn knuckle, the, the, the shoulder, his dash punch time move. Crack shoot, that is like the uh, hop kick, the jaguar kick type style move. So his moveset is pretty defined. Even his supers, even in King of Fighters game, he got like a level 1, level 2, level 3 super. Buster Wolf, Bawar Geisa, and his level 3 change changes with every game but he pretty much got a defined moveset and And they can go for that and just make him a Street Fighter 6 character or are Capcom gonna put in like King of Fighters Terry? You know how in Tekken 7 when they brought out Akuma, which is probably like the most iconic crossover character in a mainline game to be honest, when Tekken added Akuma, they added Street Fighter 4 Akuma. They added Akuma, they given him the focus mechanic, he had focus attack, FADC, so will Capcom do the same thing? Uh, maybe I would love to see Terry having like his level 2 becomes max mode activation and he gets to activate max mode, get some new cancels, get to use OD moves without spending drive and have like, if you have a little, a little bit of bar left, he can cancel into like his level 1 super. Maybe that could be really fun. Uh, it's an interesting part about Terry, again he's a character who's been in many games 
Wins, he been in Smash, he's been in Fighting EX Slayer, uh, even SNK Auto Wins, which is kind of fun, obviously Fatal Fury, is that it's interesting to see like which Terry Bogard is Capcom gonna go with or are they are are they gonna create their own Terry is are they gonna take that Terry moveset and just make him Street Fighter 6 character it's very fascinating and I'm very interested to see what Capcom will do with it hoped for more hoped for gameplay but unfortunately all we got was a little teaser and make sure that you listen to the Japanese trailer as well because this is the one that I know like where is he burn knuckle and okay And he just said, like, he, he sounds more like classic Terry in the Japanese uh, trailer, which is pretty fire. Anyways, uh, are you excited for Terry? Do you not care? Uh, what do you think of the trailer in general? Were you hoping for more? Especially since Tekken and Guilty Gear killed it with the announcements. But I don't think Street Fighter honestly cares that much about, like, tournament reveals anymore. Uh, we'll see. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter, and Twitch pages in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and stay safe.